guys from Zephyr here. Just want to continue on with our uh, drone guide with uh, basic setup. Always start with the checklist when you're out in the field, straight to the checklist so you don't forget anything. Uh, if you're in a rush or something, you always forget something, so you use a checklist. This is the checklist I'm using here, we can link that in the description, um, check it out. Start off with the battery. So the battery charge is just one click to see and give an indication of a battery charge as well as the controller which is again one click on the power button will give you charge indication. Check both of those before you start. And then you want to go to your iPad, make sure your iPad is charged as well. Pretty simple stuff guys but easy to forget so check that. And then the propellers installed and tightened. Very simple to do that, you just match up the, uh, the colour indication on the top of the prop and the top of the engine and then it's the spin in the direction uh, indicated on the top of the prop and then just give it a little snug on, down there same with the black on black and that will be the opposite direction to your silver ones and the rotating the rotation um, of the prop will also tighten them um, in case you haven't done tight enough but I wouldn't rely on that so once the props are tightened you want to go ahead and remove the gimbal lock which I have already done but yeah so just come straight out of here always keep that in on transit and it helps protect that pretty delicate gimbal there and take it out before you start up the drone because the gimbal will cycle through a check which moves it through the full um, full movement of the gimbal and you want to make sure that's out of there uh, so moving down here gimbal not obstructed so we take into the field a small table with us which um, would normally get the grass out of the camera because there's not a lot of clearance there between grass, rocks and stuff like that. Um, so definitely want to make sure that's clear of obstacles before you start. Uh, iPad volume to max, simple one again but it does help with the warnings that the app will give you um, while you're flying. You want to have that uh, fully turned up. And then, uh, yeah, you want to make sure you've got the iPad installed on here with the shield. And that just simply goes in like that. And you just pass it down. And then as well, having your cable installed. Having the cable installed and into the back. Which is like so. You can never get a USB in Let's go like that, and then you also want to with the antennas, you want to orientate them uh, vertical like that, perpendicular to the um, antennas which run in the legs of the drone. So have them up like that to get a better uh, signal. All right. So once that's done, then you want to go and turn off your Wi-Fi and any Bluetooth stuff like that to save the battery on your iPad. RC on. So. That's RC, always remote controller first, and I'll get a zoomed up shot of this later, but uh, we just one click and then click and hold, or turn it on, you'll get the, um, you get the red light here and the sound indication, and that's on, so you always want to turn that on first. Alright guys, now you want to double check the controller is in P mode, which is the small toggle switch on the back. Ensure that's in the P position before you turn on the drone, which you can do next after you've installed the battery. The next step on the checklist is to go ahead and launch the DJI Pilot app, which we'll go into further in the next video. So, yeah, like the video if you liked it, dislike it, dislike it, don't forget to subscribe. Check out our Instagram in the uh, description below, and uh, we'll have a link to the checklist I use. Thanks very much, guys. See you next time.